In this video, traders, we're going to look at the VWAP pullback trade entry strategy. Stay tuned. Hey traders, a very warm welcome to this one is specifically for day traders because it's based on a day trading indicator called the VWAP. VWAP is a volume weighted average price. It gives us a true average based on the number of contracts traded divided by price. So the more contracts are traded at a specific price, the closer the VWAP is gonna to move to that. So it's something that institutions look at. It's something that's a benchmark for algos. It's something you should be looking at if you are day trading. So this strategy works nicely for cryptos. Some of the thicker cryptos, you don't want some of the smaller altcoins, but some of the thicker cryptos, very, very good. A currency trading, if you can get volume perfect VWAP on that, works very nicely in stocks and works best on the indices. So let's have a look on the, by the way, look, it works far better on the regular trading hours cash session indices. So let's have a look at it. So VWAP here is in purple, and these are the rules of the VWAP pullback trade entry. So define stop, define target, define rules. Right, the first filter, if you like, and again, adjust these to suit, have a little look at it, tweak it, adjust it for your trading plan, if you like this kind of stuff. Rules, number one, price moves the furthest away from VWAP for three days. Let me explain what that means because that doesn't sound very useful, right? What we're looking for here is a three day range, okay? And we want to see that the price has moved the furthest away from the VWAP that it has done for three days. So what does that actually mean? It basically means that, hey, if this is the VWAP and that is the high, what's the difference between the high and the VWAP? Now, you can either code something for this, but more than likely, you can just eyeball this. Guys, if you've got three days on your chart, a 15 minute chart, whatever it is, you're gonna see three days and you're gonna say, okay, we've moved away from the VWAP. Today, we've really started trending. Ultimately, that's a trending type filter or a volatility filter. Not necessarily a trend because we could have started from the low to the high, but the point is we've moved enough to get people excited because the further away from the VWAP we move, in the day, if you consider that a lot of people will uh, see VWAP as value, so to speak, as we start to move away from VWAP, the further we go, the less value, the, the weaker value, should I say, that the stock is or the instrument is, whatever it is for buyers. But if it's still going, it means that there's something interesting going on. We're looking for the furthest move that that's been in the last three days. So the biggest distance away from the VWAP in the last three days. And that's going to be easy for my ball. You could probably do a custom indicator for it, but you get the idea, I think. Okay, so once we've got that filter and we've seen something that's moving quite a big extension away from the VWAP, bigger than it has done for the last three days, we then look at number two. The other filter here is, and by the way, these are filters. Should I probably maybe I should put them as filters. These two are the filters, not in the first or last hour. So when we look at the trading session, we don't want to trade it from eight o'clock till nine o'clock. And the VWAP, by the way, takes some time to catch up. If you're using that regular trading hour session, the VWAP needs some time to get some volume going. So you don't want to take it in the first hour. You don't want to take it in the last hour. Uh, this is really a trend trade. You want to trade with the trend. And we're using the VWAP as a kind of marker to get involved. The sweet spot for this is in the kind of middle of the day or towards the afternoon of the day if we're trading in regular trading hour session. We don't want to take it in the first hour or the last hour. If you're trading this on currencies and you've got a volume feed and you've got VWAP, then I would suggest taking it, looking at it as if you're trading the stock exchange hours. So DAX, you're eight o'clock in the morning UK time till, till 4.30, etc. So look at it as if it was just, a, even though it's been trading 24 hours, look at it like that, because that's where the participants are gonna be the most aggressive. So there's your two filters. Now we're gonna look at the rules. Once we've got those filters and they've both got a tick on those, we look at number three. We're going to buy in the case of a long on a VWAP test. So here's the VWAP, price is pushed up. We've got an excursion away from it. Let's just call this excursion uh, 100, um, pips away. I'm gonna use pips, it could be ticks, could be um, cents, whatever it may be. You get the idea. 100 pips away. We come back to the VWAP now, and the first test of the VWAP, we buy it. We buy here, and this is where we're going long, right? Because the idea is we've moved furthest away from the VWAP for the last three days, so we've got quite a bit of buying interest. So on this retracement, back to what people consider value, we're expecting algos to step up their buying interest. We're expecting other people to step up their buying interest and to it generally to be a level of support. So we're gonna front run that support. So as we push up, we pull down, we're going long. Now, where do we put our stop? This is an interesting one. I think this is a very simple way of looking at it. You can tweak it and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below of how you would tweak this trade if you've taken this kind of thing before. We're gonna look at the high here, 
Okay, we're gonna look at the high here, we're gonna look at the VWAP level here. And in this case, this could be, uh, let's call it 60 pips, right? So we've got 60 pips range between the VWAP and the high. And that's gonna be something you have to do on the fly or using indicator or using those nice tools on TradingView or whatever your platform is. So you can see the distance. So we're buying on that VWAP test, where's our stop? Our stop is going to be high, minus the VWAP, which is gonna give us our 60 pips. So wherever that high point was there, we minus it from the VWAP point here, give us this level, which 60 pips is gonna be this bit here. And then we divide it by three. And obviously 60 divided by three is 20. So our stop is going to be 20 pips. So we're gonna put down here 20 pips. And our target, that's obviously not to scale, but you get the idea. Our target is going to be the high, which is going to be 60 pips. Now, if you wanna be clever with it, I think it's perfectly acceptable to scale some out and look for a further move because you are on an unusual type of day number one. You are in a trend number two, and you have got a reasonable pullback here and you've quantified your risk number four. Why not run it? And for those swing traders of you out there, you could use this as a day trader's entry for a multi-day move, uh, depending on obviously the position of price of the prior few days. But pretty easy and structured way of doing it. Stop is the high minus the VWAP divided by three. So in this case, it's 20 pips and your target is high. So your risk reward ratio is always going to be three to one. So you've got a reasonable good kind of um, High probability of success because you've got a trend there. You've got all the things, you've got all the, all the filters ticked. You've got a good green flag in a row system. You've now got a good structured risk reward ratio because your risk is 20 pips. Your target is 60 pips. It's always going to be three to one. And it's a kind of a good thing to look at, guys. This is works quite nicely on indices. I've used this for a long, long time on the indices, specifically the Dow. Uh, the VWAP is a powerful tool. If you've not used it, I suggest you have a look at it. And that's just some ideas for some trading rules that I use to uh, to try and uh, utilize the power of the VWAP. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. It'd be interesting to see how you want to adjust this and whether you think this is a, a useful one for you. Uh, thumbs up if you like this kind of stuff. If you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. Appreciate your support. See you in the next one. Keep the risk managed. Goodbye.